presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. October 27th, man, time's flying. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions and to as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 119. NASDAQ is up 86. SP is a flat gold contract up $4.70, trading at 1798 an ounce. We have silver up 8 cents, $24.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Look at that baby. Down two bucks of $1.95. $82.70 a barrel. Notes and bonds. Monster move out here with the note and bond market, folks. You have the 10 year note up 16 ticks. 130.103, 30 year up a full two points. That's almost unheard of. At 160.25, bottom line, there's an appetite out there, folks, in a huge way for notes and bonds. I get it. Trust me that, you know, everyone thinks that rates are going up, but guess what? They're not going up just yet. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now trading down 119 ticks at 93.830. The euro is out here at 116. The yen is at 113.80. And the British pound is at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we bring up the SPY here at all-time highs. Uh, we had out here yesterday, uh, bottom line, the SPY hit a price point of uh, 458. We're at 455.97. Uh, the number to keep your eye on with the SPY, I don't see it going down into that number today, is 454. That's where you'd have that, you know, you failed the highs. That's kind of how this shakes out. So you, you're pulling back right now. You're pulling back with light volume. That's not telling us much because you went to a higher high yesterday and you had some juice behind it. Now, that's the SPY. NDX 100 is a whole different animal. And what you have with the NDX is this. So check this out. This is pretty cool, man. If you have the out of time in the trade, you know that when you get to a higher high, bottom line, if some volume comes in, you're gonna, you can expect that, you know, bottom line, you get a retest. Well, we had volume come in yesterday at 47 million. Not that that's great, but it came in. And what does the market do? The market is going to go up and tag it today, reject it, and now you're going to have rejection of higher price with lighter volume. It's a true rejection. So this is just a mind blower. There's no doubt about it, folks, okay? And that is with some of these high flyers up in an extraordinary way. And listen, Microsoft come out with great numbers. Bottom line, it's up $14.62. Now just think what would happen with the NDX 100 if Microsoft wasn't up $15. No, Google up, let's see, what's Google up? $168, man. I mean, it's just over the top. There's no doubt about it. What that's saying, okay, that is saying that the inside of the NDX 100, this thing is so weak, it's incredible. In fact, let me bring the whole thing up. Watch this. So, that's pretty impressive, man. So, look at this. The NDX is at new highs. Look at this. The NDX is new highs. I have every NDX stock up here, folks, and you can see that I only could go down to number 31 to keep it in the green. Everything else is red. What has happened here is that the Google and Amazon, well, Google's the biggest one. Google's putting uh, some monster 
points into the NDX, uh, as is Amazon, Tesla, and Microsoft. Bottom line, you get the gist of it. The gist of it, hey, guess what, man? We're going lower. This was the test. The test already failed. Uh, it's got, uh, what, another 50 minutes uh, to basically back down. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy, how are you? Big windstorm up here. Oh, I was reading about this, man. You got a northeast of, like, beyond belief, right? Yeah, yeah it's not bad. We, we get out here on Cape Ann, we get these 60-mile-an-hour-plus winds <laughs> uh, four or five times a year, so keeps the trees pruned. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't get a lot of power outages because uh, we get a lot of high winds and uh, it takes care of itself. Which is sweet. So. No, there's no doubt about it, man. Um, yep. Pretty cool. So anyway, what an unstable market. Yeah, it is. I just every trend I look at is not supported by volume, and I'm trying to look around for stocks at the bottom of their their um, channels. Yes. And there aren't any really. There aren't any. Yeah. It's crazy. And that adjective so, is the correct adjective. There's there's no doubt. Uh, you know, you heard me when I was just bringing up the NDX 100. It, it's pretty remarkable, folks, okay, that the NDX, um, when you actually look at a Microsoft, look at a Google of how much they're up, that we weren't up like 500 points. And we weren't because I had done this earlier as an exercise myself, okay? When I'm seeing the NDX go up, I says, okay, number one, it's going to go test because it had the, the juice up there. But guess what? That's all it wanted to do. It wanted to say hi, and then it's going to see you later, man, because it's, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. you know, two or three stocks. So here, yeah, Southern Copper. Hey. Let's look at this, man. Southern Copper, yes, S-C-C-O. Yeah, so they come out with their numbers, right? And they were, they were a little short on their numbers. But yeah. it's pulling back the right way. That's the real bottom line, you know. Yeah, I guess it is. It looks like it fell out of bed, but the volume's low. It is. It is. And when uh, you get a move, this is always... The, so what happens, folks, is this. And this is always tough, man. Okay, so when you look at markets and you look at, you know, particularly time in the trade, I, you know, you go up on volume when you get that move. And in order to get higher, you either got to go sideways and build, build cars, or you're going to back down with light volume. And, of course, what happens, folks, is that if we're backing down, you never know, like, well, how far are you going to back down? I mean, are you going to blow my yeah. brains out, right? <laughs> it's like, okay, man. So I get it, Frank, okay, because this drives me crazy, and I've been doing it for so long. And when I have gold positions on, it's like, okay, man, like, how far are you going to back down on me? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like how this is set up right now. I mean, because the first leg up, we went from 55 up to 66. You know, you had juice of 2.4 million. And, you know, we're backing now at 695,000, you know. So. Yeah, it's, about, it's coming into a 50% retracement off the, the recent bottom, the beginning of the month. So, yeah, and, I guess I'll hang on. I love the dividend. Don't well, and we, when we go over and we take a look at copper, I mean, they hit copper today, too. They hit it with 10 pennies. It's 68,000 oh. contracts. And, oh, wow. you know, that's, that's, that's still going into, though, 104,000 contracts, you know? So I'd hang yeah, there for a bit, yeah. Frank. Thank you. Cooking, brother. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to 185. You get the NASDAQ up 40. S&Ps are off 10. That was a fast move in the S&Ps, man. Well, actually, it was a fast move in uh, all the indices. But let's bring up this S&P because uh, let's see what type of selling are we getting in here intraday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. This just croaked. Okay. So now, folks, we have the S&P can be down 20 in a heartbeat. You're down, you're down, you're down 10 five right now, 10.5. The reason I'm saying that, what you, what you have here is this. You just broke the consolidation. See, we've been in this consolidation. The bottom of the consolidation is approximately 45.57. And we're at 45.54 right now. That's telling me that you get, a, you get a high volume low. So check this out. This could get nasty, actually, because we have a high volume low from, it's, it's amazing. This is only from Monday, folks. This is how unstable the market has been to uh, quote Frank okay and, and I totally I mean, we can see it's it's unstable on Monday the 25th that high volume low is sticking out which is 4528 you know we'll see if they get enough selling to push it down there in the next 45 minutes but that's game that's because that hasn't been tested yet and you broke the consolidation. Once you, once you break, well, we broke the consolidation, folks, and we broke the consolidation with volume. Okay, see that 10-minute buy? You don't see buys like that, man. Well, you do, but the question, you know, when you like to see them, you like to see them when they break topside, not when they're going downtown. When they're going downtown, whoever broke that consolidation, meaning it's going to be some broker dealer, bank, hedge fund, okay, whoever, that, that's not going to end, okay? Because once they can get the market going, when you're at all-time highs, you know, whether you're a technical trade or not, uh, bottom line is that they're, they're looking and they see that low price also. And what you have is that because we already went over the highs and we went up there yesterday and then you went over the highs and it couldn't hold, that is a big heads up, man. That you you got to understand that, that that's a huge heads up in the marketplace in general because what that means is that when they goosed it that there was no more buy buys above the marketplace that's how this kind of shakes out we go into the Dow Industrials we take a look at the uh, points the winners versus the losers inside the Dow Industrials you get so check it out so the Dow right now we're trading down 200 bucks right yet Microsoft is putting 90 positive points into the Dow. McDonald's is putting 40 positive points. Home Depot, 19. That being said, guess what? They got some problems. Why? You get Visa putting 99 negative points in. Goldman 
putting 43, 3M 25, and JP Morgan 23. Now let's get over to Visa because this is <laughs> this is heavy lifting for Visa. Normally you don't see uh, a stock like Visa, you know, having these types of problems. Okay, so Visa's down $15. <laughs> this is what a monster number that is, man. Let's bring this back. I'm going to put this on a weekly because what we have here is that this is breaking. Oh, look at this, man. 216, 36 million, 30 million. Oh, this is going to be a problem. This is a monster ABC down, man. So the A point is 252. So you get 216. We got what? 30, 32, 36 points. Get you 200. Yeah. And look what's sticking out like a sore thumb. You got your next leg, oh, there's, two, there's two places that are sticking out actually. You got 192 sticking out. You got 196 to 179 sticking out. Both of those would, would come first. Then, you know, you, you're coming down with a high volume low. Um, it, it's, it's a big number. Let's go over to Facebook because when we're looking at Facebook, I believe Facebook is a monster ABC structure on the way down too. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is, there's going to be some juice happening here, man. So Facebook right now uh, is down $2.52. No big deal there. But what you're going to see is that you're blowing away the B point. You already did it with volume, even on the weekly. So check it out. Your A point here is uh, 383. Your B is uh, 317. So we got 66. And that's going to bring us into 280. And you're at 313. So where's 280? Let's see. It's not that. Oh, interesting. Right there. So 280, 280 to 304 is the top of uh, the week of August the 20th. And I suspect that's exactly where we're going to go. So let, now let's go to the NQs because I want to see as that trader, I suspect, inside the S&P, I suspect he was inside the NQs also, but let's just confirm it. Yeah, he was there. Okay. So... Same type of setup. Yeah, the difference is, is that you haven't broken a consolidation there because the NQs just went straight up from this morning. But you can see, you can see the type of volume, man. I mean, um, fast, furious. We're actually right at the 10 o'clock bar. Um, and I suspect as we uh, come into the uh, lows, what we're going to see is uh, into the lows, into the uh, three o'clock, 4 o'clock hour, uh, you'll, you'll get a little more selling that's happening. The IWM, that little baby's been getting toasted all day long. Um, now, that being said, the IWM is pulling back with light volume. Uh, you get, so this to me is not done yet. You're still in a consolidation. You're back $3.60. You know, you have, you have uh, volume out here for 19 million. Uh, yesterday we went up uh, with 25 million. Let's get over to the oil market and take a look at oil. So, CL. There's the active contract. So we're on December. Look at how this baby pulled back, man. Oh, that's nothing, though. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> you know, oil's going up so much, folks, that a $2 pullback is not much. And it's certainly not because what you have is that you, you're coming into uh, 560,000 contracts and you're only done uh, 498. Now, notes and bonds. Let's do the 10 year, man. This is just amazing. Um, you're up. A half a point. What way do you see this? So 2.2 2 million contracts, folks, okay? That is like huge, man. And what you just had is that you just broke the downtrend, not the full downtrend, but this is saying that the 10-year now wants to go to 133.12, and we're at 131. The 30-year just took off like a rocket ship, okay? Um, you're up a full two points. You've done 556,000 contracts. I suspect this is going to build cause, you know, when it gets up somewhere around the 16207. And then what you'd see from that point on is that at you build cause and then it will basically make the move and make the move to the highs. That's how, that's how this is set up right now. So, uh, and I suspect what this is all about is that we had a, an auction out here today. Uh, it looks to, well, this is what normally happens. I haven't even seen the auction yet, but when you get a bond movement that that's that dramatic, what that means is that you had plenty of bids, it went off without a hitch, 
and there's plenty of money that bottom line on this here. So let, let, let's look at this for a second, because this is, I gotta see what they were paying for 30 year. So watch this. Oh man, 1.94. 1.94, give the, the government money for 30 years. Pretty wild, man, there's no doubt about it. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 175. We get the NASDAQ up 49, NASDAQ's down seven, gold's up 290. You get uh, silver up uh, two cents, and King Dollar. King Dollar is still hanging tough at that uh, above the lower range. The lower range starts at 93,729, and we are 150 ticks above that right now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 164. You get the NASDAQ up 49. S&Ps are up 7.5. So it's going to get interesting with uh, Visa. So Visa's getting hit out here today. Now, they're getting hit on another side, too, because the Justice Department is scrutinizing Visa's uh, relationships with all these large tech uh, fin companies, okay? Uh, and so the antitrust investigators are... Uh, basically investigating Square, Stripe, PayPal, and the the correlation that they have with Visa. And I suspect what we're going to find out uh, is it's going to be the kickback uh, that is in there. So Visa uh, is the largest network, much larger than MasterCard. Uh, let's see. 
Of course, they're, they're concerned about payments. I mean, and, and they're concerned about the aspect of uh, competition. Yeah, hey, we'll see. I, I don't. I, 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 we got to go through that. Uh, if, if you Google that, folks, it, it's. Uh, it's, it's probably worth Googling because I, I suspect there's a whole nother deal that's happening there. And most times what happens inside that area in general is that what you'll get when they can't compete with them, they're going to stop paying them off. And then the bottom line, it's better getting a small amount and splitting the deal uh, than getting nothing. And, you know, we'll see if that's what's coming down the, the pike there. But I suspect uh, that's what it looks like. Let's go take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot uh, out here, what you have... Uh, hitting all-time highs, you're up 392, and they come out before the market uh, with their numbers on the it's November 16th. Yeah, November 16th. So they got a long time to go, but they just continue to bid this up. Let me look at this for a second. Look at this. Yeah, so I wouldn't be up here biting on Home Depot right now. Um, Huge run, there's no doubt about that, but when we take this up, what you are going to see, this is just like the rest of the market, man. You're bidding it up, bidding it up, and the higher you keep going, the less volume that we have. So, you know, yeah, is it making money hand over fist? Yes, they are. I, and this is, what's also going on is this, so picture this. These numbers that we're looking at now, folks, you're going to see these numbers go up exponentially. See, uh, even with, well, with the Home Depot, that might be, be the regular growth pattern, meaning last year they took in $132 billion. This year they're looking to take in 145 That will go up exponentially, I expect, because of the gross prices going up. The gross prices are going up everywhere, on everything. So what we are going to see is that when we see these numbers coming across, those gross numbers are going to be much higher. The real question is going to be, can they bring that to the bottom line, and can they do it fast enough? And what I mean by fast enough is that as, you, as you're buying more product that's costing you more money, can you put it into the pricing model ASAP so that you can take advantage of it? That's number one. Number two, which I expect some of these companies are actually already doing, they've already bringing their prices up and some of these products haven't actually gone up yet. But what will end up happening is that, guess what? They will basically, they will go up, they will pay more for the product, and so eventually that's going to catch up with them also. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. What's going on, brother? Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I can't complain. can't complain. Hey, I just want to ask you about Shopify. Their, their numbers are coming out tomorrow. Um, and uh, their business model seems pretty solid, and it looks like they've been beating their their estimate, uh, their earnings the past few quarters, and looking pretty good. So I was just wondering what your thoughts are. Yeah, there's no doubt this position. company is amazing. In fact, I, I'm sure you heard it before when Tommy and I were changing everything over at TFNN. Uh, my God, this is almost like three years ago. I think we're down here three years in this headquarters. Um, <laughs> we use Shopify. We use Stripe. Okay. And okay. they're phenomenal, man. I mean, it's so easy. It's, it's sick to, you know, to, to get everything set up and get paid. And it, it, it's, a, it's a good system. So the low for the year, folks, is seven, $875. The high is $1,650. It's trading at $1,364. And you, you want to see something that's a, just crazy, folks? Okay, just look at this. Five years ago, they were doing $673 million. This year, they're going to do $4.6 billion, and next year, $6.2 billion. And the reason for that, folks, is they make it so easy. Almost every developer that you're dealing with, I mean, it's a very easy way to have a very secure website, um, and that's why they're doing so well. Okay, so now the question is, that being said, uh, <laughs> uh, the real question is, what would you do with it now? Oh, I don't think I'd buy this, Andy. Look at this. Interesting, man. Yeah. I'd let it be, man. I mean, this looks to me that this is extended, too, and like 1100 is game again. I mean, you, really? you, you're looking at Yeah, see this chart, man? The, the, uh -huh. When you see something like this, it's really dangerous. And what I mean by that, folks, is this, is that the, 
this has been going higher for almost a year with no volume. Uh -huh. And when that happens, uh, it's, it's never, it never ends good. It doesn't mean you can't go on for another four or five months, but yeah, I wouldn't, I'd, I'd be careful, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. How's I'll everything else going, man? I haven't, I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but I was good. just uh, looking like it was interesting about 1300. Um, it might have some support, but uh, I'd and let I, them I come, let, let them come out with the numbers, man. Tomorrow, whether it would even get down there or not tomorrow. Yeah, I'd let them come out with those numbers first, for sure. Okay. Cooking, okay. brother. Cool. Thanks, Tom. Good have, hearing from you. You Bye -bye. too, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Uh, let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And this is going to be a low volume market out here today. You got, uh, let's see, Advanced Micro uh, is down 24 cents. I believe that was up three bucks. I'll pull that back up again, though. Uh, you got... Uh, Let's see. Snap is down 350. That's still getting smoked. You got uh, Microsoft. Man, Microsoft's up $13. That's unbelievable. Oh, look at this. They're whacking Twitter. Twitter's down six bucks. They were, now Twitter came out with numbers last night, and last night they weren't whacking it. Bottom line is down six percent or ten percent right now. Tesla's up another $18. Um, Tesla is Robinhood is down uh, four dollars and twenty cents, trading at 35.27. Now in Robinhood's case, folks. What you have out here, this is a, you know, when you dig it, I was digging into these numbers this morning. And the reason I was digging into the numbers this morning is that, you know, you, I know plenty of young people that have, you know, Bitcoin going back and forth. And it, it's amazing. Tommy and I were talking about this, and it's amazing that they don't understand how much that they're actually paying when they're buying or selling it, meaning percentage-wise. And that's how Robinhood had made a fortune, even though they still lost money, on the last earnings. Well, the bottom line is that this accelerated, the loss accelerated, and part of that loss accelerated because of the fact is that they, they weren't pushing out as much um, trading on Bitcoin. Because what ends up happening is that you have so many people that are unsophisticated, they don't realize that when they're buying and selling it, that, you know, they're, they're <laughs> some of these spreads out here, um, they're just monster spreads, folks. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 177. Nasdaq's up 56. S&P's off 8.5. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, uh, a down 190. You got the Nasdaq uh, up 52. S and P's are off nine and a half. And we take a look at the. Let's go uh, over to Amazon. So Amazon, folks, that's coming out with numbers uh, tomorrow after the close. Right now, Amazon's trading up 27 dollars. Uh, you're laying out here at uh, 3403. Now Amazon, they this is this is always the quarter that they spend a huge amount of money. On expenses so they're still looking to take in 111 billion that being said you can see the number wise it's going down dramatically from $15 to $8 and 96 cents uh, Apple no doubt is going to be a big one out here Apple also is coming out after the close tomorrow uh, Apple right now is trading at 149 and what Apple's done Apple's Oh, yeah, no, it's not even close to its high. Okay, so so the, the high on Apple is out here at 157. Right now, we're trading at 149. And Apple is going to be looking to do... Okay, revenue-wise, Apple's going to be coming out. They're looking at $84 billion to the top line. They're looking for $1.24 to the bottom line. Our guest today, folks, is Dr. Mary Kay. Mary's president of Key Associates and founder of the Key Women's Leadership Forums. Key Associates is a consulting firm committed to helping leaders and organizations grow, particularly women. Mary uh, has been selected as part of the International Women's Federation Society uh, of the International Business Fellows. Uh, and Mary, welcome to TFNN. It's great to be here. Can you see me? Uh, we, we certainly can. We certainly can. So, so, I so, love that accent, Tom. I'm originally <laughs> from Massachusetts. Yeah, we we'll park the car in the garage and we eat potatoes. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm from Western Mass, so I don't park my car, but when I hear it, I think of the Red Sox. I love it. That's, that's a beautiful thing. So tell us exactly what you do, Mary. I specialize in leadership and organizational development. And as my career's evolved, I noticed that women in leadership roles have some real challenges. Uh, there's a lot for younger uh, people, more junior in their career, but once a woman hits the executive level, there aren't very many resources and it gets lonely at the top. So in 2014, I started the Key Women's Leadership Forum and with one group, and now we have uh, 10 women's forums running across the, in St. Pete and across the west coast of Florida almost 100 women that participate. And um, I, I think it's really making a difference. More and more organizations want to support women in leadership roles. And uh, they don't really have a place where they can let their hair down, not be perfect, and focus on business as well as uh, career issues. We talk about aligning mind, body, spirit, and career with what you do. You know, there's, there's no doubt whether we're talking men or women, it's always about the Rolodex when you get to a certain point in the executive suite. Uh, and, and I can absolutely see that you always had the old boys network, right? That bottom line, we're going to go out and have a cigar, we're going to have a drink, okay? And that, so that's where that got established. How, do, how, do, how does it get established in the women's world? Well, in our forums, many of the women wind up doing business and supporting each other, recommending each other. Yes. In fairness to many of the men, and I've worked with quite a few CEOs before doing this work, I helped Inc. Magazine set up CEO roundtables around the country. So I've worked with a lot of hard-charging entrepreneurs.
prefers, and at that time, uh, many of which were male. And a lot of times, they just invite their friends they, to be on their boards. They, as the company grows, they just don't know. Uh, private equity firms um, aren't as acquainted with some of the women in leadership roles. So I think some of the initiatives now on, the, on diversity, equity, and inclusion are very, very important. But it does take time to ferret out and find these women. So we need more sponsors of women in leadership roles, someone that's willing to say, hey, I know so-and-so's work and they're terrific and you might want to talk to them about this board seat or about this position. Yeah, no, I can see that. So talk to me about what I think is always bizarre, right, is that, you know, you still, you still have these guys, man, that basically are harassing women, even in executive roles. Now, and that's after the fact that you know, for the last 10 years, it seems like everyone should understand, hey, things are not like they were 50 years ago or 40 years ago, right? So, I mean, it's not, I'm not asking, like, how do you change that? But what I don't get is that how can someone get to such a high position and they're still turned around and, you know, they basically, you know, want to grab the secretary and take her out or something? I mean, it's just weird. I'll, I'll tell you, I was just listening to Katie Kirk. She was being interviewed and... And she talked about how she really didn't know what was going on with Matt Lauer and other people in the organization until she saw an email that he uh, thought he was sending to somebody else and actually went to her. And it was, it was quite revealing uh, what he had to say and clear sexual harassment. I, I don't know how that it continues to be accepted, except people have turned a blind eye for a long time. There is a resurgence, you know, uh, different people... Um, Harvey Weinstein and others uh, that used to people used to close their eyes to, um, you know, have gotten into trouble. But but it still happens, and um, we need to be more aggressive with that. And despite a woman, you know, coming forth and saying, "Hey, someone has harassed me," uh, there's so many implications for that that many times they they just decide not to pursue it because they don't want to ruin their careers. Yeah, it's pretty intense. I mean, I, I look at it the aspect that. Every, almost everyone has a mother or a sister, so it's like, hey, man, you don't want to send your daughter out to, to go to work and get harassed. That, that's, and, and you know what's interesting about this is that that would never happen on the street. That's what, that, I've always tried to figure this out. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, so you, you, you wouldn't have that happen on the street. Why is it happening inside of businesses? But it, it is, it's, thank God it's stopping a little, but it blows my mind, like some of the incidents even in the last couple years that it would still happens like are you kidding me man I mean you know it's anyway um, anyway you know my organization did a, a survey of uh, executive women in the area uh, about 105 people participated and one of the things that we found that I think compounds a lot of things for women is that um, either the foremost or the second most frequently uh, identified issue that women have the pressure they feel is the pressure to perform and part of it's because even the woman in her partnership may make more money than her husband, or she might be a single parent, but um, about 70% of the management of the household falls on the shoulders of women. This comes back to a comment you made earlier, falls on the shoulders of women. So it, it, it's not that a partner's not willing to take Johnny to soccer practice, but who looks at the whole system, like when the kids need to get vaccinated, and of course with COVID, that's been a whole other issue, uh, homeschooling for a while. So anyway, this falls on the women's shoulders. And so women don't have as much time yes. to go out and play golf or, or do the networking. Right. And an organization uh, remembers women often when they have to say, hey, I can't be at this meeting. I have to take my kid to the doctor, whatever it might be. And even if they work later hours, it seems like they get labeled that way. So some companies are not willing to invest in the development of women as much because they don't see that woman as being dependable. Interesting, interesting. This has been a pleasure. Thank you for the education, Mary. I look forward to having you on, on again. And folks, you can get her website. It's Key Associates, Inc. So Key Associates with an S, Inc.com. Mary, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you again. You too. Go Red Sox. Go Red Sox. That's right. Meow. Go get them. Have a great one. Okay. Stay, stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 230. You got the NASDAQ uh, up 19. S&Ps are off 16. And uh, yeah, you got a little nasty close out here, folks. Uh, if we go to the NQs, the NQs are still up 58 bucks. We'll see whether they can hang there. Uh, it won't take much for them to basically flatten out. Um, you know, so we'll see how that, that does shake out. What we're going to have here is you're going to have a failure on price and a failure of volume in the NDX 100. And that is with Microsoft being up $14, $15, with Google being up $168. So it's pretty intense, folks, okay? And this, by the way, this is a classic, man. What I mean by that classic is that first you go up and, and touch the high, and you bottom line, you have some juice behind the high, okay? We failed yesterday. So yesterday what would happen is this. And the Qs, you get, did 47 million shares. You get up to the high, to the penny, to the penny. Then you gave it up on price. Today, we bottom line, we got over the high. The high that we're talking about yeah, yesterday was the 382.71. Well, we got to 383.15. You gave it up in spades, and now what's going to happen today, it's going to be a close call whether it's going to be lighter volume or not. Uh, we're at 38.8 million right now. This could pump in another 10 million. Uh, either way, uh, well, not either way. If you do have less volume than the 47.1 million, that is an absolute failure on price and a failure on volume. If we only fail on price, that's how it shoots down, folks. You only fail on price. And that would set up, I mean, if we come in with another, uh, yeah, you come in with another 10 million shares, if you do uh, come in with another 10 million shares, that means that you could get another test of the high and drive 
uh, people out of their minds. Okay, because when you when you get a when you get a sell-off that you've had higher highs and then that baby uh, comes down, uh, it tends to hurt more people because even intraday, there's plenty of folks that are buying that, going into it, believing it, you know, looking for the um, the upshot on it, uh, you know, in, in a monster way. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Look at him, folks.